If you've ever wondered how to check your Sony camera's shutter count, I'm going to show you how today. The mechanical shutter in your camera does have a finite lifespan, and this normally comes down to how many activations or photographs your camera has taken. And I'm talking with the mechanical shutter, not the silent shutter. The a7 III, the a7R III, and the a9 have all been tested to around about 500,000 shots, and the a6500 has been tested to 200,000 shots. So there is scope and there is a long life to the shutter in your camera. However, it can sometimes last less than this due to dirt or dust getting into that mechanism or just being unlucky and having a faulty shutter. Either way, it's good to know what your count is. All you need to do is take a photograph and then get that JPEG or RAW file, which is the ARW file, onto your computer unedited. What I do is get my camera. I don't even bother taking the cap off. Turn it on and make sure it's in manual mode. I'll get my shutter speed up high enough so it's a quick, short exposure, and then just take a shot. Then all you need to do is put your SD card into your laptop. The first option works with both Macs and PCs, so if you're on a Mac, this is the only way you can check your shutter count. For PC users, there is a second way, which I'll show you in a minute. First of all, open up the website that I've linked in the description below. It's an unsecured link, but all that means is that it's an HTTP site and not a HTTPS site. I'm guessing that the creator hasn't put too much money into this and paid extra for the secure site. I've never had any problems with it, so I think it should be okay. So I've got my laptop and I'm just putting in that website now. It opens up a very basic web page. All you need to do is drag your file to where this cloud is. I don't even take the image off the SD card I'll just drag it off the SD card and onto there. And now you can see the shutter activations that I've had with my A7R2. It's currently at 74,719, which for a camera that's three or four years old is kind of average. Now, if you're not happy about dropping your image onto this website and have a Windows computer, this second option is for you, but you will need to download a bit of software to read an image from your camera. To do this, go to the second website that I've again linked in the description and download the free EXIF reader, which is the first one on the list on that website. Once it's downloaded onto your computer, install the software onto your computer and then open it. Next, find the image you have saved from your hard drive or that's on your SD card that you've plugged into your laptop. Again, it has to be a RAW file or a JPEG straight from camera and not edited. Once the program has opened this image, on the right hand side, scroll down to Sony and expand the drop down list and look for shutter count. Again, you can see here, mine is 74,719. Now, if you want to learn how to set up your Sony camera for photography, click on this next video here. And to learn the basics of flash photography, click on this video down here. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly tutorials on photography every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you next time.